Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sleepy tonight because I just finished uh, freeze my dinner. So that's why I think so. Well, I feel so sleepy. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Forgive me. Yeah, I have. I've said a thousand times to forgive me or excuse me. Sorry, <laughs> etc. Apologies, etc. Anyway, we are going to talk about this episode 65 figure talk of Toys TV. My name is Rhino. Um, this time again is Star Ace. Uh, this is not the first time. I think it's maybe the third time or fourth time to introduce Star Ace figures. Maybe, uh -huh. maybe in re recent times they oh, released their products so you know so close together before and ch after the Chinese New Year. Anyway, they have a lot of release. It's good because they many more license is coming. So let's see what about this figures from their not Harry Potter but the uh, prequel of the Harry Potter is Fantastic Beasts you know this is the figures Newt Scamander I hope I pronounce it correctly okay let's see what is the special items including in this figure set first of all I think is because it's Fantastic Beasts I think we should including some funny beasts first of all is uh, I have to look at something okay it's an uh, okami egg Okay, make a silver color egg and a half size Nifna and also a complete size Livla. So this 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 beast looks really funny funny. See his see his you know accessories. It's very funny. I didn't see the movie but uh, I think most of the young people or or adult audience they have read the movie. I think they have very strong impression on this of of this animals or beasts. So two Levla, Okami egg, and also this one very special one, Demi guy's head. It looks like an eagle head or ox head. No ox or O head. O W L O O head. Okay, O head, but only the head. And a very small one, bow chuckle, bow chuckle. I think it's like kinds of you know like a plant or tr trees. You know, very funny. Bees or, or special creatures from the movies and all of them I think is inside this briefcase it's very very interesting I'm trying to see if I can close the oh actually I think we can close it yeah we can close the briefcase all the stuff can be removed I'm not going to try to be over here but I'll show you that that the suitcase can be closed okay, maybe I do it to show how funny it was okay so this one the briefcase always the focus of some figure set we can see how the company to design and to produce this kind of you know I think complicated uh, accessory but not obviously you know eye-catching but at the same time it's very important for collectors if they think it's not good it's no good but if it's good, it increases the value add to the whole set of products. Okay, so it's really really cool. Okay, and we are going to the figure itself. And I have to say that the costume of this figure set from Star is really really good because they have different layers. One layers, I don't include this scarf. Second layers third layer and the fourth layer so all together with my eyes i can see there's four layers there is a shirt inside and a waistcoat and a suit coat and also the trend coat or what we can call great coat uh the fabric i can touch for the great coat is really good look really close to the real life trend coat fabric and the cutting i think if this already if they if they already have four layers i think they did a very good job uh in my point of view their showing technique is improving for size you can see the back size of the grid coat looks very neat neat shoulder they did a good job you know you can see the stitches is really linear and and in a, a good pattern I mean reliable pattern or stable pattern you know if the showing technique is not good they will do like six set like that or long and short stitches so they uh, did very well for the great coat and also the inside layer of the suit coat the fabric is not thin so I think it's quite difficult for them to 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 dress the figures besides 
uh, before packaging. And also the waistcoat. Well, really good job. Looks like a very familiar with one of my old products. Anyway, uh, yeah, I have to say uh, we released uh, one of the earliest uh, waistcoat for one six scale figures items and it is very good. But you know, they are all improving. And the bow tie uh, for the head scrub. You can see the head scrub. If you feel like it look like or similar or close or very good, it really depends on your own judgment. But for myself, the 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 figures uh, and the head scrub, uh, they have spent some time for the hair layers because I think they have to separate two or three parts from the hair to make it more, you know, real life. Okay, and also you can see his teeth. Uh, the sculpture they do a good job, but for the painting they can improve a bit in future. But for the costume making, they spend a lot of effort and time. It's good, but the fabric can be thinner. But anyway, it is well done. It is well done, and uh, C Star Ace is improving, and we are waiting for their. You know, they are there are lots of license they have been acquiring and releasing. So, I hope they can improve their standard a bit and a bit. Anyway, this is this is a good figures for the. You know, is is the like a prequel of the Harry Potter. Anyway, uh, Star Ace. I think for myself, they did, they did a good, great job. And then, you know, the figure is good looking and a lot of funny accessories. You know, this set is worth the buy. Anyway, thanks for watching Figure Talk Toys TV. My name is Brian. No, see you. Bye bye.